Welcome to yet another episode of the POV podcast. My name is Kate Trisha. Season two is all about African stories, African leaders. And I thought, you know what? We might as well have the people who lead from the front, carve their own path, and even make such a big change that they end up being called the most Googled cop. In Kenya, we have a police, a police, a police, a police, a police, a my beast manjege i ah, really my hate beast manjege give us other nicknames yeah my beast <laughs> you beast me couldn't share you to a beast i was like what what, what did you just say to me I... ma ma pony ni ma pony ma pony is i think ma pony is cops mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. but me I call them police police men and women men, men and women of the force who actually do a lot for us making sure that kenya is safe and east africa is safe and one of the most popular ones her name is emma brenda and you got to love her because on social media she talks about her family you see her talk about a little bit about the forces because that's how we know what she does but she's here to give us a point of view from her own eyes welcome to the show thank you how are you doing oh Nervous? Why are you nervous? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day. Not every day. Okay. Because I don't do this every day. Uh-huh. So, well, a little bit nervous. I'll tell you this. It was a little bit tough to get Emma here because, <gasps> and I keep on calling you Bren Emmy. I, in, in my head, I call you Bren Emmy because most of, people call me Bren Emmy. Yeah. Because of social media. And it was too late to change it mm-hmm. to Emma Brenda. Yes. And when I had the following, yeah, I was like, okay, fine, mm. we'll have Brenemy. I'll take Brenemy. You know, just stick. Mm. It was a struggle to get her because she's doing her exams, she's mm. in school. She's like, no, I have to do school. Mm. You know, I have to make sure my kid is okay. Then my daughter came. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ilikuwa mambomingi. So for us to get this, I'm happy. We're finally here. Mamaliza Shule did my exams. Mamaliza uh, Friday. Wow. Yeah. So when are we graduating? Next year. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank That's you. really, really good. Thank you. Um, you're studying security. I did security management. I am currently doing communication, mm-hmm. international relations, and security wow. studies. Girl, mm. you don't stop. No. You keep adding them up. Lazima. I like that about yourself. And I wonder, did a, did a 16-year-old Emma ever think this was the path she would take? 16? No. Mm. No. Well, mm. I thought I would be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. And a musician, specifically gospel. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Because I was a staunch Christian until mm-hmm. from three. Mm-hmm. So it was along those lines, law and law. music. Yeah. Wow. That's also good options. In law. Listen, law but you see, funny, you are in law enforcement. So you didn't really fall. I didn't off. fall. <laughs> yeah. And you're still on the grade. Yes, yes, yes. yes <laughs> That's yeah. really good. And mm. talk about music, if you didn't know. Emma actually tried out for TPF. Season and three. Ian, if you're watching this, because I know you're my friend, Ian Bogwa, you let this go. And she was to become a star. <laughs> yani, yani. Which song did you audition for when you when you tried out for TPF? On your Tandogo. Kunawatu. Kunawatu. Naviatu. Naviatu. Kapata nao duniani. We real life. Were you singing from your heart or were you singing from? No, from my heart. Yeah? Yeah. But... I wasn't sure about TPF. Mm-hmm. I just needed a breakthrough because okay. I knew, well, like I said, I was a Christian, a staunch Christian. I was born again from primary school. Mm-hmm. I was in CU. Yeah. I was in a girl group band okay. in Kiriambu. We formed yes. our own Come group. Yeah. Daughters of Zion. Where? I composed songs. I played the piano. Mm. So I thought maybe if I... Nikki Pena TPF, I would go back to gospel. Yeah. But well, God had a plan. God had Which a are plans. beautiful ones, yes, for sure. Yes. And I like I like something about walking with God is that he guides us to the right place. And when mm. you listen and look at Brenda's social media, you're always talking about God one way or another. Yes. And I and then get our conversation Zako. Yes. It and does. I read somewhere how spiritual you are about your life. Mm-hmm. When life took turn at a very young age, you were like, hey, what's it on Mungu tena kwa sababu yes. things are a little bit crazy. Mm-hmm. I wonder how your relationship is now with the church and you know, just yourself. Well, with the church mm-hmm. and the singing, I well, I took a back seat. Yes. After, you know, after um, I had my daughter because I was judged by that same church. Mm. The same people would judge me a lot. A child out of wedlock, you're not married. You're, what kind of an example are you? Yeah, I was yeah. a teenager. Mm. What kind of a um, an example are you setting to our children, our mm. girls? Mm. You're with our girls and, you know, our boys, the mm. boys I went to school with. Yes. I come from Nyahuru, a 
and my estate was very small, so everybody knows everybody. Every, in Ushago, I think everyone knows hey. everyone. Yeah. And then my mom mm. sings in the choir. Hi. Unaribu wajiro, you are spoiling. Shoma, ikaugua. Girl. I could not even go back to church. I didn't go to church even after I had Lanisha. Mm. When is the next time you went to church? After I had her maybe two years. Mm. When now we can hide. We can't even hide it. Now she's it's walking a, it's and a baby girl. Yeah. You know, she's alive. She's here. Yeah. <laughs> so we couldn't hide it anymore. Mm. But for me, I left church because of the backlash and the judgment. Mm. And I also didn't want it to boil down to my mom. Mm. I mean, you seeing her, she's the chair lady of the choir. She's been a chair lady for years. My mm. mom has been singing since 1989. Where? Since she was 18. I was not around, but she was already <laughs> doing the Lord's work. Thank you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> since she was 18. Mm. And then I'm here, 18, yeah, with a child. So no, church was not an option then for me. But I still went back to church after my uh, my daughter's dad and I parted ways. Wow, it it and it's crazy mm. for you now as a teenage parent looking at your daughter. Do you do you sometimes get afraid of anything happening? Because a lot of parents are usually scared of any repetition. You're like, I really don't want that to happen to you. No. Yeah. I went through this. Mm -hmm. So I know how it feels like mm. to be on the receiving end. Mm. So I can do that with my own child. Yeah. Do I have my fears? Yes, I do have my fears. Like as a normal a, yeah, as a normal, especially yeah. to a 16 year old yeah. now. Yes. But I'm so confident with how I've raised her. I'm not saying I'm the best parent, mm. but I, I, I wouldn't say I have done the same things that my parents did. Mm. It's different. You've made it a little flexible for you it's guys. It's very to talk. flexible. Yeah. We talk. We're friends. Yeah. And I come to her level. Okay. With this generation, you can't bulldoze. And this generation is Gen Alpha. You're raising a Gen Alpha. A Gen Alpha. Oh my God. <laughs> so they won't listen mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. and then you won't have the last word on this. Well, who is the parent here? Because. Me will negotiate. <laughs> you have to reason with this yes, person. Yes, we have to. Yeah. How like, am I what's your thing with someone I give birth to? Let me tell you, Excuse bulldoze you? this generation. <laughs> They'll go and get married. Okay. The reason why I'm saying this is because um, I have seen these cases now. Well, as, as a cop as, as well. a cop. Because you're a cop and you're a parent. I'm a and cop. You're and seeing I'm the a, world. Yes. I, I'm seeing 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, oh. you know, um, having intimacy and then they're brought to the station and you're told to deal with that. Mm. And I'm like, how do you even deal with this? Mm. It's you a 16 and a 17. And you see sometimes it's a criminal case. And they're both minors though. Boy, it's tough. So with a 16 year old, mm -hmm. we have conversations. Mm. I don't bulldoze. I want to listen why you're doing what you want to do. And I'll tell you where that road leads mm. now the good thing about this parenting mm -hmm. is that i had her as a teenager yeah so she's seen everything that i've done all the mistakes that i've made and we've gone through everything together you've grown up together we've grown up together <laughs> yeah. so we were like big c's small c's yeah so you've seen the mistake that i made and mm. what that led to mm. so why would you want to go that path yeah you should know better so when you know better you do better of course so i don't expect her to repeat the same mistakes that i did mm -hmm. but i wouldn't say i'm not worried i'm a little bit worried but ha i'm still confident you're worried because, because the generation is a little crazy. because of the generation but so far the the decisions she's made for herself mm -hmm. she's made her own name her own brand yeah <laughs> see how on social media <laughs> <laughs> so I am so proud of her because at least she gets to do things that I didn't go, mm. uh, I didn't get to do, and I was not supported yeah. on those things. Yeah. I wanted to do gospel. I wanted to venture in music. Mm. My mom was like, "It's it's a hobby. It's no, not a career." Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. it's okay. I understand that because that was then. Mm. But these now we realize that we we don't make money just from being a doctor Things and we cannot be we can't all be doctors and yes. and you know lawyers and whatnot yeah yeah people so, i love this generation by the yeah they're and innovative the, and they're so outspoken they speak their mind Ooh, they speak their heart yeah. it's so beautiful mm. i love that about them mm. and i think that's that reasoning portion that you and lanisha can actually reason mm -hmm. is one of the biggest hurdles that we've had growing up because 
how dare you reason with a 50 year old man Oof. do you know who feeds you in this house you know how dare you i remember even small conversations about now as a grown up when i talk to my dad about the car or anything he's like i've driven 40 years what are you telling me like there's no reasoning with this person no, it's always i am the right one mm -hmm. you just listen and take it yeah and i think it's really beautiful but now let's go back to the police station because mm -hmm. you've said something that is you know it's a it's a big topic mm -hmm. the kids that come in with um sexual offenses mm -hmm. um cases mm -hmm. um let's let's not talk about um being taken advantage of that is rape mm -hmm. and, and harassment. Just two children found together. And when I say children, I'm talking about 17 and below because mm -hmm. 18 now, umevu kampaka. Yes. You know, now you have an ID, da, da, da. What really happens when a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old are found in a comp compromising position? How do you, how do the police handle it? Because that's a it's little very bit... very tricky. You have to involve you know, the chief, the parents of both, you know, both sides. Yeah. And because remember... Mm -hmm. Parents want to blame the other. Oh, yeah. If it's the girl and she's younger, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and remember, these are two children. Okay, that's with a very, desires. Very dicey topic. Very, yeah? very dicey and very tricky. Okay. Very tricky because now you have to involve everybody so from the past. Because yeah. now you need intervention from all angles. Mm. Yeah. But could because it turn criminal? Could it turn into a criminal case? With minors, yes. Damn. Yes. We have juvenile. We miss care you guys. That's like, why we have juvenile. It's illegal. Don't don't play don't. with little girls. Don't play with little boys. Let's wait for grown ups. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what we're patting our cure twenty and above. Yes. I'm at twenty six. Must see when I rock. I love me with my and I tell mm. my daughter this every other time. This time for everything. I wish. I wish this generation could just listen to that. Mm. As much as you'd be like, oh, sasana semanini, makelele, you know? Mm. That's what I used to say. That's what I used to say. Yeah. I'm like, what is she saying? Mm. I mean, she had her time. Mm. This is my time to yeah. do these things. But my mom used to tell me there's time for everything. Don't be in a rush to grow up. Mm. So I was in a rush and I became a mom, a yeah. teen mom. Yeah. And then because of becoming a mom, mm -hmm. you... Life in Akuskuma and the pressure and, you know, you're trying to be a mother, you're trying to figure out yourself, you're trying to oh, find, find a landing, you can't find a landing. Mm. So there's time for everything. And I think this generation should just understand that don't be in a rush to grow up, don't be in a rush to, you know, go to clubs and have a boyfriend. Time will come, you'll have... I tell my daughter this all the time. Let me tell you. Utaona <laughs> wanaume? Utaona? Utakatua, utachoka, you be mm. like, you know what? Now I need time out. Yeah, like, like, like me. I give her my, uh, examples with myself. I tell her, look at me. Mm. I sometimes I'm like, oh, I love my peace and quiet. You're not in a hurry. I to am not do in nothing. a hurry. When that time comes, and I feel like, yes, this is the time to get married mm. and have a family. Yeah. Yes, but. You I'm know, just Harry. not in a hurry. And I like that because you see a lot of women, especially if you decide to walk the journey of raising your child alone, mm -hmm. there's a lot of also pain because this journey, no one wants to walk it alone. No. Everyone prefers to be in a union. With someone, yeah. You know, if it's possible. And I can imagine, do you ever engage with the father of your child? Is he alive? Do you guys talk? Does he know about his child? Does he participate? Ooh What's the plan? Oh, well. Um, Lanisha's dad has not been in her life for years. Mm. They, we didn't part on a good note. Yeah. Because you, was, were you both kids? No, he was, no. We, okay, well, mm. I was the kid there. Mm. <laughs> he was not a kid. Mm -hmm. 21. And he, I usually say, um, I wouldn't, sometimes, I, I don't point fingers and say, oh, he should be here. Yeah, he did this, yeah. everything bad to me. We mm -hmm. both participated. Mm. And, it was a very toxic. We were both toxic to each other. Maybe you were young. Two, yeah. two kids mm. coming from broken homes. He, ah. he was an orphan. Mm. Um, my biological dad had left. Mm. So two kids coming from broken homes. Yeah. Kids were not healed. It's messy. It's very messy. It was messy. It's a little messy. It turns uh, violent, mm. um, suicidal. Mm. He wants to kill me. He, I'm, you're not leaving, with, you know, this house and, and, and taking my daughter away from me. Mm. So it was really ugly to yeah. police cases. So I knew when it was time to leave, I was like, you know what, in my head and mm -hmm. growing up, yeah. I didn't think 
this is it. Mm. I don't think this is marriage and mm. I don't think any woman should stay mm. for the sake of the child. Yes. Or to keep a family. Or to keep a family. It's yeah. a good picture, yes. But what does that what does that do, do you know to, what to your it, soul. Do, yeah to, get to your soul and to you as a person like mm. growing up I didn't think I was going to be a single mom no one wants that I don't that was that the time everyone would want you know a family yeah I wanted a family yeah he was my first love mm. and I had to leave it turned out very ugly no, very and, very ugly and the ugly part scares me because it's very scary for you even to raise a child in such an environment mm -hmm. because children who've grown up in such homes mm -hmm. they there's a lot of discord when it comes back to society mm -hmm. Um, it's very common. For, now I know that today. Yeah, I mean, I know it. Now like I know for real, that I know today. because I've lived that life. It's not right for mm -hmm. children to be in such an environment. When they come mm -hmm. out to the world, mm -hmm. eh, hey, hey, you might not want to deal with those kids. Yeah. But now let me ask you from the perspective of your mom, mm -hmm. her seeing you going through this, mm -hmm. did she advocate for you to stay or leave? She didn't what was know. She? Oh, she did. Let me tell you. Please. I just I just say maniki ona mimba. Wait. In whose house? Where? You're, you're taking it. No, I was not even there. You're I was not even living at home. Girl. Uh-uh. No, my mom would have skinned me alive. You had already I know my mom. To rock I, had a, I had left mm. home, mm. went, stayed with my uncle, my mom's younger brother. Yeah. And I told my grandpa. I told my grandpa and my uncle. Mm. And I told them, listen, this is... This is the thing. We are, are you, We are not telling. I told my grandpa, we are not telling your daughter. I know you love her so much, but you know what she would do to me if mm. she found her. She was like, he was like, I am not. I wouldn't even be the one to tell her. I wouldn't. I even know they're her. Even they scared of her. <laughs> She's my child, so I'm jam. Mm. So we kept it a secret for the longest until yeah. I need my ID now. I I need my birth certificate because I don't have an ID. You have to go get it at home. Yes. So I called her and I tell her, hey, can we meet in town? Mm -hmm. I need my birth certificate. Then she's like, okay, fine, we can do lunch. And I'm like, I don't want this lunch. Can you just give me my birth certificate? She wants to see her daughter. No, it's because, no, I look This is the thing. Oh my, Kids, your mother my dreamt. mom much later told me that I knew you were pregnant. That's why I insisted on having lunch with you. Oh my God. But when I came for that lunch, yeah. I was ready for war. Like, I didn't want any confrontation. I didn't want any chit chats. You want your birth certificate. I want my birth certificate because <laughs> I can't give birth to this child because no hospital will, you know. Will take an will, underage and yeah, all this without yeah. identification. So she comes. We had lunch. <laughs> then I forgot. I'm going to buy the sweatpants. Then I forgot. <laughs> Because she by then I forgot, now you know. You relax. So I said, relax. <laughs> Yo. She was like, what do you need? Ah, ni kushiba, ma. Let me tell I was like, ni kushiba. Na ume shiba, sana? Ni kushiba. And then I got... Ata izi miguzi na kazi mishiba. I got angry. I was so mad that Ata ange niliza anything from there. So she gave me my birth certificate. Then she told me, you know, I had a dream that you're pregnant. And I was like, and I'm telling you, I am not... Pregnant. Girl. Drop then, it. You're insisting. So my mom, mm. let me tell you, mothers, my mom used to tell me something, Nikyom Dogo. And when I became a mother, I look at my daughter and I'm like, I wish mm. you could read your Bible very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what Bible says. Mm. Uh, your ma your parents are your second God. Yes, that's true. Let me tell you. Mm. Kate, when I had Lanisha. Mm. Uliamini. I remember that thing every day. Every time I see her or we have an argument, I'm like, would you read your Bible? Do you know who brought you to this earth? <laughs> your parents mm. are your second God. Mm -hmm. And the only commandment that has a promise, the only, mm. is children obey your parents. Yes. Haina shortcut. Yeah. Honor them. Honor Haina them. shortcut. And mm. it's the only commandment and it's rewarding <laughs> and it's rewarding and it's because of course of the link that you have you you have the dna but it's crazy how a mother's instinct is so divine oh. attack you kombali and out of it go to guy even when anything <laughs> is wrong i know let me tell you kama kuna kitu wewe in kasirisha is the fact that mm. it it i in kasirisha like i'm i'm mad mad mm. like i'm 
why would you even have such a dream and be right? But you see, that's the thing about <laughs> loving your kids, man. You're connected to them through and right? through. Yeah. Yeah. So I went back. So went and I was admitted for my, you know, um, my antenatal, mm. my prenatal at the Kenyatta private wing. Yeah. So my grandpa and my uncle mm-hmm. took me through this. Wow. Two men. Two men. You're raising a kid with two men. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. They would make sure my, I, I visit my clinics. Mm. Um, I was pampered. I yeah. never lacked nothing. That's so nice. Never lacked n- not a that, thing. And that is so because a lot of young girls don't get that. Opata, remember, okay, a support toto. system. Bana, talk, like really, they go through the rough mm-hmm. to get people to hold your hand. And remember, this is something new to you. No, I never told you. And how new to, to them diaper, as well. As well, even because like, you know, like I'm the first grandchild. Ah. And the first niece. Yes. So they're like, everything is new for everyone. And I remember <laughs> my, every time I would faint, I, I used to faint a lot. Yeah. Because I was very tiny. Oh, no. I was very tiny. Mm. So my HP was low. Yes. So I would faint and faint. Then my grandpa was like, oh, Shiro, I, I, I think we should involve a woman. Yeah, because he doesn't know what to do. Like, <laughs> little girl is facing all the yeah. time. Man. My and uncle is the same thing. So here. <laughs> he was like, oh, can I look for um, a colleague of mine? I, I should introduce you to his wife. You know, mm. I was like, yeah, sure. Mm. So that went on until I had Lanisha. So my mom was actually told you, when So I, when you're heavy, you're fainting a lot? Yes. That is so scary. Very scary. Because if you scary. faint in public, a laugh, let me tell you, my uncle got scared in Tatoka. We used to plan <laughs> for days on how I'm going to leave. Where will you go? Bahati mm-hmm. to Kenyatta. Mm-hmm. Then Biashara Street, shop for, you know, basins and stuff and back. get rid and back home. We used to plan for those days. And my, ma- my, my, my uncle would be so scared. Mm. He'd be so tense the whole day. I he would, would come too. home early mm. to make sure she really if you got home, you're okay. He would send, there was a shop downstairs. He used to live in an apartment. So mm. he would send um, a shopkeeper mm. to come and check on me. Akosawa. Akosawa, alifika. Ama leo ameanguka tena. Ameanguka kwa stairs. Iyo apartment haikuwa na lift. You know, even me thinking about <laughs> it, it's yo, I don't want that. And I was so tiny, kid. Oh I was so God. tiny. Little 18-year-old girl. Mm. All this time, Lanisha's mm. dad is not in the picture. In fact, yeah, mm. when I told him I'm, you know, heavy, he's yeah. like, no, 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 no. We, I'm, I'm just not ready. So you're going to have an abortion. And I was like, no, it's not happening. Wait, um, how me, I'm from Nyahe. Mm. Shags. Mm. That no, is not, this are things over to non gang. You can't even say that. No, no. I was like, you know what? Mm. It's okay. I was so, that was very brave of you, by the way. Very brave. High five. <laughs> very brave. But I was so scared. Mm-hmm. I was so scared of my mom mm. and now bringing this life to this earth. Mm. And then what next? Because they have to be fed. They have to be fed. They have to go to you, school. You, you. Sure. Then there was another side of it. I was like, you know what? At least I can have my own mini me. Mm-hmm. I would have my person. Ah, yeah. That's your security. That's, and you can. Taipanga when you attack her, this is mine. It's my yeah. own being. I get it's, that. It's bad giving a label, but in my head, I would be like, I was like, this is my golden child. Mm. Mine. But you do treat her like that. We say it online. <laughs> Nafango, you put that baby on her pet, but I get it. It's yours. So. I was like, mm. mine. Mm. My, this is mine now. Yeah. I'll do whatever I want with this child mm. because it's mine, it belongs mm. to me. It's my mini me. Yeah. So I want to do things different. Yeah. And I think that's why I took. A very long time to decide, you know, to to start working, especially going to Kiganjo. Yeah, that was a. I took four years thinking about it. Yeah, just with the baby at home. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm going to have a side job and then go to college. I went to college and then I had a side job. I used to work at Procter and Gamble as a yeah. sales lady. That's nice. Naivas, Tuskies, Nakumat, Clean Shells. Nimezurura. Nimezurura. Af. De, now what you call Defco? Mm. Then it was Afco. Yeah, okay. I worked at um, Afko Moye Base, mm-hmm. Kabete, the one in Karen. Mm. Yeah. You and I was a mother. By the time you settle and decide, you know what, I want to be a cop. By the time, no, I was working before I even decided. Okay, okay. Because I didn't want to have, you know, I, I didn't want, I hate handouts by the way. Okay. I really hate you handouts. You wanted to do this by yourself. I wanted to do this by myself. Mm. Right? Is it because you're a firstborn? Yeah. 
I think so. Yeah, I think so. Hey, yeah. hey. I wanted to do this by myself and prove, you know, to my mom, hey, mm. I did I did this by myself without your help. But when Lanisha was born, of course, my mom Her heart came softened, and, you know. Yeah, she came and she started assisting. Mm. So I worked and I would go to college. Then I started uh, dropping Lanisha at uh, the, the kid, my daycare. Mm. So when I'm, she's not at the daycare. She was with my my dad mm -hmm. and my mom sometimes. Yeah. But my mom was working. So my dad, her grandpa, mm. took over. Ah, okay. So he became a father figure. Then my brother stepped up. So she's she's been able to have both worlds. Oh, yes. And you're so lucky. I think it's, Very. let me tell you, it's so lucky and it's beautiful. And you, you have to thank God for it because the stories right now of women walking the journey alone, mm -hmm. a lot of single mothers do, don't even have father figures. Yeah. who are able to stand in. Because mm. I usually say, at one point, men need to stand in, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. with boys and even mm -hmm. with girls. Because mm -hmm. girls need to Especially understand that girls. you can be loved mm. by a man, mm. even, and it starts with the men in the home. Yes. Your uncle, yes. your dad, you know, your grandpa. Those are the first men to love you before mm -hmm. you go into the world, because yes. you're going to go into the world. Mm -hmm. And I think it's such a beautiful gift to have that. It is. I uh, but they, up to date, I usually tell her, I think you're the most lucky child <laughs> in our family. Yeah. Because you had Guka, you had Uncle Eric. Amma, she's then the you baby have... who brought everyone together. Yes, she did. She has to be. She Ooh, did because like, okay, I'm I had a very bad, strenuous relationship with my mom mm. and my dad oh. and my brother. And then this one came and... She came. Mm. She does not care about your fights. Mm. You have to come together, Nyonyo. For me. <laughs> yeah. And we did. We. Wow. I usually take, tell her, but hey, you're the one person who, who made me come back and mm. start talking. I never, I didn't have a relationship with my mom my whole high school. Yeah. From one all the way to form four. Yeah. That's why I left home very young. Mm. And my dad. But after Lanisha, oh, she brought the and whole I, and family. Say, and that's the beauty of... That's the beauty of... What do I... I don't, I don't know what the word is. It's just the beauty that comes with something that's unclear. Let's not, it's not a mess at all. That's something mm -hmm. that's unclear, you know? Oh, nilikuwa tu nafanya kazi kwa streets, nikapada na umsi na satu kwa marifiki baka sku ya mwisho. Yeah. Oh, I got pregnant and this is a child who's become the most Imagine. successful. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. People even divorce, even the story of Barack Obama with mm -hmm. his dad, mm -hmm. the parents separated ways, na, 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 and then the next thing, he's a first black president. Imagine. So it's so crazy how children can do so much mm -hmm. to even re... They, like... They, they heal the home, yeah. Soften our hearts. Hey. Like my mom, my mom, my mom really changed after Lanisha. Wow. She really changed. <laughs> so we are all fighting for this one child. Sis I'm like, wait, but she's mine. <laughs> then she's like, no, but she but even has a nickname. <laughs> yeah. So she calls her Mokoro. Mm. She's like, I miss Mokoro. Even as of today. Yeah. She was like, she calls and she's like, Mukuru came back. And I'm like, yeah, she came back yesterday. Mm. I really miss her. I'm like, mom, seriously? I'm a talker Juja Jana. Mm. What are you saying? What are you are, yeah, new mm. angle. <laughs> but I love the fact that Lanisha brought the whole family together. That's so beautiful. We healed. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I never want to do is I wouldn't want her to experience anything I've experienced mm. or, you know, have a bad relationship with me. Ah, yeah. yeah. Because and I would want it to end with me. You know? Let's just end it with me. It's a crazy discussion. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny, I had it on my TikTok. Mm -hmm. I saw a guy who, mm -hmm. the dad had stepped away. It was something very common, especially in Kikuyu homes. And um, and he was so angry at the man. The man was asking him for 200 shillings. Mm -hmm. And I get there's a lot of bitterness between parents and children. Mm -hmm. And I, I commented, I was like, I don't think it's right. I think it's essential that we forgive mm -hmm. our parents as mm -hmm. well because mm -hmm. sometimes we don't know the battles they're fighting. No. Trust me, people who've brought you to this world, there's a part of them that really loves you. Yes. At, the, at the core of it, mm -hmm. but there's this other part that is so scared. Like in your case, mm -hmm. you're a young girl. You mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Girls do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because yes. you're scared. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a little girl. You mm -hmm. don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I was in the I was of the opinion, I was like, it's very essential that we start forgiving kids. Yes. And forgiving our parents. parents. Because what they are carrying, we don't even know. You know? And the my generation and our kids' generation, 
totally different. Yeah. During our parents' generation, they didn't have the t- uh, technology of uh, going for counseling, mm. life coach, and Therapy. whatnot. Mm-hmm. Right? If you ask me about my parents mm. or that generation, I'll be like, they're a bit toxic. Eh, <laughs> Very toxic parent. But would you say that what you make it up? You wouldn't up to the twist. But now that I'm grown ups, even when I talk with my mom, I'm like, hi mom, please stop complaining. My God, God has my blessed thank you. God I have a teenager who tells <laughs> Shush. <laughs> from like, thank God. <laughs> But I think for them, it was a coping mechanism. The the noise was such a coping mechanism. For now, them. our generation, yeah. we took ourselves, like, I went for counseling. I still go for counseling. Yeah. If I feel something is off mm. or overwhelmed or, you know, something is off. Yeah. They didn't have that. Ones are going through work. And by the way, for those who do not know, mm. Emma's mom is actually a cop. Yeah. And your your family is all cops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. I can imagine how critical they are of you and your work and how your conduct. They'll criticize everything. I'm like, mom, Mm -hmm. your generation is your generation. I respect that generation. Mm -hmm. But we have us, then we have this one that is coming. Yes. So you really have to change with the times. We are not forcing this down your throat, but... Please uh, let us leave. <laughs> How do you handle? Have you ever worked in the same office? Like I wouldn't be in the same station. I, uh, it's it's not allowed, though. I don't see it. No, mm. it's not. Well, apart from not being allowed, mm. me, I, I, <laughs> apana, kid, apana, she'll no, be like, <laughs> let, let me tell you. And then moja. she's going to be my boss. Yes. And then I'll have to answer to her. Mm. That would mean my, what, my dress code, si chore is of you too. Wait, there was one time, mm. that reminds me, there was one time <laughs> I attended an interview, I won't mention where, yeah. but mm. it, it looked quite your setup. So yes. I went, Kamaliza. An interview like this one? No, 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 a job. Oh, a job interview. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. a job interview. So mm. when I left the boardroom, mm. corridor, I met with someone mm. and he was like, Madam, and I was wondering, what, what do you mean? So I was like, sir, what do you mean? And he was like, no, no, that's just mm. my eyebrows. Mm. And I was like, oh my God. And I could literally hear my mom saying the same thing. Now well, in my head, I'm thinking it's grooming. It's part of grooming. You're like, I've tucked in my shirt. No, I had What's a nice dress. Yes, or needs. whatever. Yeah. And not even a full makeup, just like you know, subtly keep it clean. Where now he's doing like this, and I was like, What do you mean, sir? And he was like, We don't do that here. Could that in be my head? And I'm thinking, Oh wow, it's part of grooming. But then mm. I looked at him and I'm like, you know what? This is something my mom would say. I think it's a generation, <laughs> but could that be a reason to ever, like in, in government and in mm-hmm. all this, could that be a reason for anyone to lag behind? Because I remember I've worked in Kiambu Law Courts mm-hmm. in the prosecution's office for just mm-hmm. a very long while. Even mm-hmm. me, I was being told the same thing. Oh. I was just, I was just like, you know, makeup, but I bring him too. So I was like, yeah, so uh, that was scary because that it's your you time. It's your mm-hmm. And I've even been to another government office and I had a short address and my girlfriend was like, because she works at the office, she was mm-hmm. like, hey, you can't come in. Let me just bring you your papers. You know, because of that. And I'm like, is it is it about protocol? What is it? Could that even hinder you from moving forward on levels because yes, of the way could. you decided yes, to live your could. life? Yes, it could. Oh, it could. I know there are people who hate my guts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In They're the like, service. They're yeah. like, oh, you're doing too much. Oh, we don't do that. We Let me tell you, people fear what they don't know and what but they that's don't not understand. But interfering with your work. You're still executing your work. And I'm thinking, in my fine. head, I'm thinking, okay, fine, I'm out. Mm. I'm, this is a different generation. You're from a different generation. Mm. Now we have to transit. Mm. And we have to be in sync and work together. And at one point you retire. Mm. Then who's going to be there? My generation. Yes. So it w- sooner or later, mm-hmm. we will still have this. But mm. I respect how they used to do their things. Yes. But one way or another, mm. things will change. And I'm here for the change. Uh, you're saying things will change, but there's a time it went really bad. Because mm-hmm. if you Google, ever Google Emma Brenda, mm-hmm. you'll see very nice photos of her in her uniform and all that. And then she's like, oh, she's the hottest cop 
which is true, she is. But there's one lady who had the same plight happen to her. Mm -hmm. And you see, as African women, we are very endowed. To me, like, you see, Mama Tuivi, ni kama. So one of the cops I remember, and I don't want to mention her name, you know, mm. because of so many things, but you know the story. Yeah. She had to fly to the States. Because I came after. Yes. Yeah. She had to fly to the States mm. because... She actually resigned? Yeah, she had to resign, mm. resign from the police mm. force, go to the States, start a whole new life because mm. being a cop and having a look mm -hmm. is not right. Yeah. That yeah. is extreme bullying. <laughs> How do you bully someone for the way they look? <laughs> Well, I don't know what happened there, so I can't speak on it. Because mm -hmm. I remember that time when that incident happened, I was just from right after Kiganjo. Like, uh, I had just graduating. graduated. Yeah. So by the time I was graduating, there's that incident. And then I'm thinking, oh, well, wait. But I, I want to be a different cop. And mm -hmm. I want to do this through my social media. Because when I was even in training, mm -hmm. I was already popular. Ah, yeah. The first photo that came out of me with uniform, I was still in college. Yeah. So when I'm leaving, I already have a plan of how I'm going to use my social media. I'm going to inspire <laughs> influence. people. Influence. Yeah. Where? The shock on me. I was like, tone down. Madam. Tone down. <laughs> Which is okay because, you know, they have their, we have the SSO and their what, rules. you know. Yeah. And I respect the badge and I respect the uniform. Yeah. So throughout the years, I think I've learned the pros and cons. Mm. And then having my mom there, she, you know, she's guided me through these things like, don't do this, you do this, don't do this, you know? Yeah. It's okay. And another thing, I don't use the uniform to, nah. nah. The uniform is for work. No, for work and I respect it and I love my job. There's some things though I noticed about being a cop because mm -hmm. I have a couple of family members in the force. And there's so much time that is stolen from you, from your family. Mm -hmm. you've, witnessed, you've witnessed it yourself. Your yeah. mother was away a lot yes. because she was working. Mm. And I wonder how that affects the children of the forces because having a parent who is a cop, oh, I'm a two more... Nyeri na nyimneshi nyamururu, ametumwa garisa nyimneshi, Mombasa, Kisumu, like that. Mm. How, does it, how does it happen for you as a child and now you as a parent? A, how is that? I had this conversation with my daughter last week on Monday. Mm. And I told her, she asked me, mm. why haven't you had a promotion in your mm. life? Why mm. haven't you, you know, you're just a constable. And I told her, Lanisha, mm. the things that matter to me and you mm. were on top of that list. Okay. So I have never, I've had so many opportunities, job opportunities. I've had to not take, you know, the promotion seriously. Yes. Because I'm like, okay, this would take my time away from Lanisha. Mm. So I never attended the boards. I have never oh. attended not one board. Uh, yeah. Not one board. Umakata. Nine years. Na sasa. No, but they know it's in the file. You can choose not to. You can, it's by choice. Ah, okay, For me, okay, it's okay. by choice okay. because motherhood came first. It That's comes good. first. I'm a mother imagine. first. Ah. So I, uh, we had this conversation on Monday and I told her, listen, I love Shosh. Mm. Career woman, I love her. She's about that She's life. <laughs> she has left that legacy. Yes. You know, we were left behind. She came to Nairobi, went mm. to school. She has her, you know, credentials. So I told Lensha, I give my mom her flowers mm. and I love her for that. Yes. Now we have me mm. <laughs> who wants to be a mother mm. and to be a mother through well, and through. Through and through. I like that. So my career has had to take a back seat, mm. but do I regret? No, I don't regret because I, at least I, at the end of the day, kid, I still got to do what I wanted. I wanted to become a police officer and I'm living the dream. Yes. And feed your kid. And I feed my kid. Yeah. <laughs> so my daughter comes first, motherhood comes first mm. and then police work second. I like that because it was, it's such a fear, you know, repeating the cycle. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because mm -hmm. I've seen those kids really not grow up with. Then their I had a, what, a daughter, not even a son. You can imagine. You know. Yeah. So it's a. It's a. <laughs> it's really replaced. I, said, I, I wanted this to end with me. <laughs> like everything, the I, I don't need generational crisis. Yes. Everything has to end with me. I hear you. I want to give her the best. I wanted to give her the best throughout the years. Mm. Nine years is a very long time to sacrifice. She even knows. Mm. Like sometimes she's like, now can you go and do what, do your thing what you would do? And they're out. Mm. She'd be like, mom, and they're out. <laughs> would she want you to date, by the way? Ah, Lenisha is very selfish. Ah. <laughs> well, well. She's you know, very mom selfish. mom got to do her thing. And very picky. 
Ah, okay. And very picky. Your child has to pick the man you'll be with. She's very picky in this sense. Mm. If you don't like her, mm. of course, that you're out. Goes without saying. No, she attitude denies her. Of, that yeah, goes if you don't saying. like her, mm. you're out. She wouldn't tell you. Mm. She wouldn't even show you. Mm. But she'll be missing. I shouldn't participate. How you call? Mm. <laughs> You're, that's you and my mom. I don't want to be a part of it. Like I'm that. out. And I love that. Yeah. However, I usually say if I will be married mm -hmm. and have kids, no, not kids, a child. Who knows? Who knows what God We plans. have to Brenda, blend. Don't do this. We have to you blend. Are? But that will be a gift. Where's the jua? Kate by the Mina, Mina, is Mina a jua. A sprinkle me. Oh, <laughs> bariki. I'm grateful for that one child. Yeah. But I. From the experience I've had, let mm. me tell you, single being a single mom is not easy. Mm. It takes a lot. Yeah, I've I've learned a lot about myself through Lanisha. Yes, the sacrifices are made mm. career wise. Um, as a teenager, mm. when people are going out and living their best lives you out there, home. I was home. I was cleaning nappies and whatnot. Mm. I was taking my daughter to her first kindergarten, whatever, her graduations to, you know, primary. When people are dating. Eh, when people are dating out here, I'm thinking about, you know, Anafanya KCP, which school that's, are we are we picking? So it takes a lot, a yeah. lot, of, a lot. For so you, you to go. decide, let's do this yeah, Now to have another child and then go through that again and then you don't know whether it's going to work. Mm. It's a no for me. Yeah. I don't you, think you I have would to want... be careful this time. Yeah. Yeah. So... Especially having, I usually say it sounds, it might sound bad, but mm. this is the truth. Mm. My truth, I am not raising another child in a broken home. I ah. will not. Amen. It Amen. ends with me. Amen. I love that. So if I'm going to have another child, mm. I'll be married mm -hmm. and we'll build from there. Amen. But having another child, Nisha has her own dad. Then you have another child with another man. What am I doing here? Uh, it's going to be a little bit crazy. Chaos. Yes. I'm not saying that people who've done that are yeah. wrong. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying for me, I've been a single mom, you know. For a while. For a while. Yeah. So if if it's, if it's I'm going to bring a child in on this earth, then mm. it, I would want it to be complete. Mm. From a complete family. Mm. So that... You know, you know, kids will copy paste everything you of do. Of course, and they think it's okay, it's right, but it's not right. If you read the Bible, it's not right. And then you see, the thing is, whatever you put out to the world, God will bring it to you. Yeah. Yes. If you put out to the world that that, that is what you want and that is the journey you want, God will make sure it happens. So I'm hoping that works out for you. It's really, really beautiful. I'm I'm really amazed at how you've become very flexible mm -hmm. going back to school. Mm -hmm. Um, now I'm back different, in school. Yeah, picking different jobs to make you... You're someone who can literally jump from industry to industry. Yes, I can. You try music. Unaruka apa. Unaruka. Marketing. What are you trying next? To I modeled. I, I was a commercial model. What yes, I did. Away. 2014, when I left Kiganjo, I did. I did. <laughs> 2014, 2015, 2016. I'm like, you know what? Mm. You know, Lanisha is growing up. She needs my attention. Let me put this aside. And mm. then... I was like, maybe I'll come back and do this again because I had time anyway. I'm yeah. still young. Yeah. Because I had Lanisha very young. Mm. So, nini si jafanya? Marketing, kuza, pampers, um, always, Duracell. You could be a hustler. Yes. A I, I'm, hustler. A, I'm a hustler. So what are you, what are you trying next? Because I'm... I'm I'm, I'm, I feel like you're, you'll just rip another band-aid and be like, ah, to match and you're What do you feel you're going to do next? Let me tell you, this year... Mm. Um... This is the one year that I'm taking time for myself. Mm, okay. Um, because the things that I had in mind mm -hmm. didn't come out. Things didn't work out there. I thought they would. Yeah. I thought by now I'd have my own cloth line, and mm. I should like I love fashion. Yes, you do. I you thought by really now, nice. yeah, I'd probably have a um, a cloth line mm -hmm. and a shoe line. That has not worked. However, yeah. it's because of other things mm. that you know came along, and I'm. I don't even regret anyway. Mm. So where I'm at this year is just, I mean, I'm in a journey of, this is just a journey of pausing. Mm -hmm. What does Emma want? What is the next step? Yeah. What is the next thing that feels right for Emma? I like that. And
be very keen with the steps you're making because you as you make them as a parent there's someone looking at you children really yeah. copy paste they really the way you walk the way you talk mm-hmm. the way you maneuver mm-hmm. is really going to be how they handle life mm-hmm. and i can imagine are there any traits can you see in her that i saw you oh like she's a hustler hustler was 16 Ooh, like she, what is she hustling she, she started modeling for home 254 how old was she 10 yeah yeah so yeah. she's been getting her own money. Yes. Lanisha, my impressor is 07. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lanisha is a hustler. Yeah. She she did um, Selena mm-hmm. as the younger version yes, of Selena. Selena. So it was so cute. She's a dancer. So hey, Lanisha started this very early. That's, the, that's the, one bit she's taken from I you. love that about her because um, she doesn't want, she was like, no, I, I can't be in your shadow forever. And I think she realized that very, I think she was, five or six five or six yeah the first time i was on churchill mm. and she came along yeah she took over the show i was <laughs> you were just participating yeah you're a guest but there's another just star. inviting her there she did her own thing mm. and she found her niche that's really nice so i love that side of her she mm. she loves poetry mm. oh she's a good poet and she's like yeah she that's really she loves good. literature mm. something i also love yeah and there's a there's a scary part of social media, and I, mm-hmm. I can imagine you know it and you're conscious of it. Mm-hmm. Of course, under the law, we unafanya kazi na sheria, unajua sheria. Inasema watoto nini nini, we have to child protective yeah. laws mm-hmm. of digital. But there's this also also this other side where I know you've gotten hate here and there. Yes. You've gotten a lot of love yes. and you've gotten a lot of hate. Yes. It comes with it. And I won't lie, I usually have one of the biggest fears, especially for children. But let me start with you. Mm-hmm. What is one of the most hateful things you've gotten from the internet? Because it's really scary. <laughs> Having people um, take my photos mm-hmm. and use them and, and you know, ask money from the public. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That has been there for nine years. Is Kate, as of last three weeks ago, mm-hmm. someone posted my photo and then said uh, some cops killed each other some place in Rift Valley mm. and they killed each other because of me. Now he posted uh, my photos. So lovely. everybody was calling like a yeah, triangle. triangle. So people are calling me, hey, are you okay? Have you seen this? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, I'm people. at home. I don't even know these people. Why would anyone use my photos? So they use it as clickbait. Yes. Mm. So it's it's not the first time. It's mm. not the last time. I've had several. I've been to court. Someone was arrested. And then after she was arrested, we had like another 100 accounts with my photos, another one created a photo of, um, I came up with a, a very funny storyline. Mm. Um, Lanisha fell um, at home and then now she has brain damage. So she's requesting for people to send her money because now I'm unable to pay. In the face of you. In the face of me. Ay, 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 people changed. No. So now that's the one nasty thing I hate about no, social. No, because yeah. you don't don't and especially brain don't damage. Don't use is my not, kid. Yeah, and then brain damage is not a something to joke. People it's not really do. brain damage. It's not a funny mm. one. So I called the principal at school and I'm like, well, wait, maybe I I'm the one who doesn't know. So I called the principal. I'm What's like, that? well, wait, is Lanisha in class? Mm. He was like, let me check. He went checked and then he calls me. He's like, Lanisha is in class, and I was like, okay, is she okay? Are you sure? Mm. He was like, yeah. Let me tell you, if there's something that I hate about social media is that one aspect. Mm. You too. I don't have any... People hating and writing comments. I, d- I mean, God, I'm a cop. You can imagine what we go through every <laughs> day. I've got love. I've got some friends who are cops, but sometimes you all take me off. My God, Brenda, sometimes police. Now please. imagine that's you saying, <laughs> imagine that's you saying that mm. and you're a lady. Yeah. Now imagine now I'm a lady in the service in a male dof- dominated field and then mm. um, and kushika mwana ume. In a struggle. Yeah. Some or, refuse for you or to Or even arrest. someone sees you in the uniform mm. and, and they, they're like, you know, there's that hate. And this, and also struggle of power because I can imagine Nikki Pata and I've seen you on social media. Oh, this cop is easy, man. See, you just just are like you. And then people yeah, wouldn't take you me. seriously. Uh, yeah, yeah. There is something people well, think you're joking. I imagine, and I don't you're like acting. that. I do really don't like that. <laughs> you're acting like, like oh, and I'm supu. I had I talk to Nikki Pingu twenty two. I'm like, wait, wait, this is my job. What are you saying? 
22. I don't see any 22 wapi. You will even be taking escorting some to court and then they'll be like uh, even asking for your number. I'm like, okay. "Come on. Would you This is my a- job." Ni ni ni. And I'm thinking you're a fraud. But you're like, asking for you know, you're a fraud. Eh, yeah, what if <laughs> my case capital crime that. I think you still asking for my job. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait. I saw your charge sheet. What are you talking about? You pay number fraud. You know, but you know there are rumors that criminals and cops can be friends. You never know. Apparently. People can dream big. No, that's why I draw the line. <laughs> you can't date a criminal. No. A recovered criminal, someone who's recovered. No. I wouldn't tell me Coca this in the light. They've gone to the system. The next time you do anything wrong, it will cost my job. Oh yeah. yeah I'm yeah. saying this out of experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been there. If someone is a criminal, criminals yes. can't date cops at all. No. Damn. That's my job. I want so, to... oh, Kishuka, and then mm. they link you to me and then they'll be like, oh, this woman has been harboring this criminal. No, aiding and abetting. Hey, imagine Where? aiding and abetting. Then maybe no. even someone uses your, your, your gun and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You mm-hmm. don't need stuff like that in your life. No, thank you. Hard pass. <laughs> it's a hard pass for me. I get, being being a, a woman in any industry has its, it has it has its, 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 its issues. Mm-hmm. But you've been able to handle them with grace. Oh, it's not easy. Mm. Oh, it's not easy. Working in a male-dominated field is not easy. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's not easy. It requires thick skin. But then that's where you find, because right now people are really talking about femininity mm-hmm. and masculinity and a lot of women who are tough. And I can imagine your mother has been tough all her life. Oh, yeah. That's where maybe her femininity might have kind of Rubs. slowed down a little mm. bit because mm. you're there battling it with men mm. in the streets sometimes. Mm. Tear gas, mm-hmm. it's messy. At, at work. work. People arresting people. Let me tell you, for a woman in my field, you have to work 10 times as hard for you to even be recognized. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Good I'm job. Fanya kazi. Yeah, fanya even kazi. with the papers, even with the credentials. Yeah, because there's that myth. You know, mm. it's it's so demoralizing. Yeah. But I usually say such such things don't bug me mm. because I'm like, well, wait, me, mm. Emma Brenda Anjuro, mm. without shoes. Nika Kimbia Wanja, Nyahururu, 10 mm. kilometers for this job. So who are you to tell me mm. I am not qualified? You ran as well. You ran Same just like field. your counterpart. 10, 10 k- kilometers. Then proceeded to the training. Mm. I went for 15 months. Training. 15 months. Press ups and all. Yes. Oh my God. So, Dang. what do you mean I'm not qualified? It's not for so that's why I, I, such noise, not well, that to me is noise. You've really come to make peace with your situation. And yeah, you're Kitambo. At. Actually, and I like Kitambo, that. I probably 2018, 2019. Mm. Yeah, now such things, don't, it, I don't even entertain such have you, conversations. Have you been called for other favors outside of your work? It's like, oh, because you're a hot cop, come host a club event for us, things that are outside. Yes, this, because you see, yes. she's the most Googled cop in East Africa. Yes. So uh, when people want to, you know, kind of sideline the work versus this. Do you get that sometimes? Yes, I do. Could you host club? Yet? Yes. And appearances. Mm. And I'm like, ah, uh, so as who? As mm. Emma the cop or as Mama Lanisha? Hey. Which one? Because I wear many hats. <laughs> so which one would you want? Because mm. if it's a cop, I'm like, nah, I yeah. don't mix my work. Yes. I don't mix work with pleasure or, you know, parenting yeah. and my social life. No, I don't mix. Yes. So if you want Brenda the cop, you have Brenda the cop. If you want Brenemy, mm. you'll have Brenemy. You want Mama Lanisha, she's going to you be there. You want to tell me you could host a club session? You can? Yeah, I can. But I've seen cops who are musicians, so I'm not shocked. There's some who are musicians. Yeah. Yeah. There's one who's actually very famous and I like him. He's from Kirinyaga. Me too. If I remember your name, I'm yeah, actually to... from the same place. He's yeah. from Old Kalao. I'm from Nyahuru. Yeah, he's really. I know him. You know him. Yes. Ones. Mm-hmm. He's very popular. Really cool guy. And he sings. So you can do these things. You can actually handle it. I you, think people you really. Can. But you have to draw, you know, the lines. Yeah. You know, you're not mixing work and, and pleasure. Yeah. I love that. Mm. I love the fact that Brenda has really gone out of her way to cover her own path and cover her own story. And for me, I think it's really, really beautiful. What message would you have, especially for really young girls who 
the story did not go as beautiful. Mm -hmm. Getting a child at a young age, who knew you'd be seated on a couch like this speaking about your life? What would you tell that young girl who's figuring it out, a little bit scared, not telling anyone she's heavy and all that? What would you tell that girl? First things first. Mm. There's time for everything. There's time to have a child. Mm. There's time to get married. Yeah. And there's time to date. So don't skip those stages and become a mother. Yes. Uh -uh. Mm. You're 16. It's Tulia. 16. 18, sour, 25, it's time for everything. You get bored anyway. Mm. Like now, she's 16. Two more years, she's out of my house. What do I do with my life? Can you be the time in Asia? Yeah, she's 16. Yo, in two years, she's out. She's a grown up now. And I'm not even 35 yet. You can... What do I do? <laughs> so there's time for everything. Okay. Then um, don't be too worried and too scared about how things will play out. It paralyzes you. Fear. Let me tell you, kid. I'm a mini overthinker. I overthink and overthink. When I look back at when I was pregnant with Lanisha, I think, I, I gosh, no wonder I was sick. Maybe that's why you were fainting. That's why I was you fainting. You had a lot of mental Because I was stress. playing... Everything throughout my mind, every day, every day, how am I going to raise her? How are things going to... I'm um, such a shame to my mother. I'm going to be a single mom. Shame on me. What? Who's going to marry me? I remember Lenisha's dad used to tell me, nobody will ever marry you with a child. I'm not advocating for single <laughs> motherhood. Why would she say that? Oh, he used to say that so that I would stay. Anyway, uh-huh. So don't let fear paralyze you. Mm. Sometimes these things just work out just fine. Eventually. Because there's a God, yeah. Wow. And so to so say sang and said kila mtoto anakuja sani yake. It's true. Cuz sometimes I used to worry about the the school she's going to go. Started at Ofafa Kindergarten. Mm. That was not where I thought my daughter would even course, go to school. It was not a bad school but yeah. My wishes would be a good group of schools. You know? Then she makes it. Uh, Kamaliza. Then class one and whatnot goes to another school. All the way, class eight, she's done. Kenya High, Kabarak. And, and then you're like, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> it's 16 years later? If you look back in Yahururu and you're afraid with your uncle there thinking about Gosh. life, you wouldn't think 2024, this is the way to turn no. out. Damn. No, so don't let fear cripple you. I like that. Few of the unknown. I like that. Mm. The mungu mbele. Mungu mbele. Mungu mbele. As much as I took a back seat from mm. praise and worship, I know mm. this was not my doing. Mm. He has paved a way year after year, day after day, even my career. Mm. I might have not had those promotions and whatnot, mm. but Kit, I have worked in the best institutions ever. Yeah. At a very young age. Mm. And I'm so grateful that I still... That's why I, I people tell me, why don't you resign? And I'm like, do you know what this job has done for me? Ime kujenga. Ime nijenga, not just as a mother or a name. Mm. No, but I rediscovered who Emma is. Your personality. And I realized mm -hmm. I'm good at serving. Ah, I like that. Thank Service God. is my thing. Wow. I sleep very well at night knowing I served. Mm. But it, service mm -hmm. is is just my thing. And service to man is service to God. Of course. So that's why he keeps opening doors and windows and whatnot. <laughs> doors, windows like and balconies. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is POV Podcast Season 2. Remember, it's all about African stories and African leaders. Remember, you can stream us. You can stream us on Spotify, YouTube, and all podcast channels.